admire Marion very much. At the orphanage, the biggest battle they had with us was self-pity. They would always have people come over and talk to us about it. I usually didn't listen. Put my fingers in my ears. Who needed it, right? I only remember this old guy. I think he was Lutheran. But I remember him because he didn't try to kid us. Everyone else was always saying how it didn't matter whether or not we had a mother or a father, that, that it wasn't important. He said, hell, yes, it mattered. No, face it, we got in a lousy break, but that was the way it was. A husband, a wife, a set of kids, life doesn't always work out that way. Sometimes all you get is a knot in Dubuque who might come and visit you next year. Bits and pieces. So what you have to do is take those bits and pieces and... Only then do I put my fingers in my ears again, right? Because I knew what I was going to do. I was going to get out of that place and get married and raise a family and, and, and no more bits and pieces life for me. Only this evening, my husband died. He left them. He really left. And the kids are going to love her and, and love meeting all the DuPonts. Who wouldn't? And so I'm back to bits and pieces. Only Marion showed me what you do with them. You, you take them and you put them together as best as you can. Of course, there will always be people who will tell you you can't. You can't make a lie that way. Lives aren't made that way. Well, you're wrong, Louise. Lives are made every way. The thing to do is to keep them going. And, and not to hate. Marion doesn't hate. 